Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Real Madrid Caramo! In FIFA 17! Mmm, it's back! Brr, brr, it's back! I said, mmm, it's back! Brr, brr, it's fucking back! Real Madrid is back! It's fucking back, it's back! Real Madrid is back, everybody! This team I support the most. The team on my wall there, and over there, and on my shirt, is finally fucking back in FIFA 17 Real Madrid! Hablo de Espanol! Cama, cama, tranquilo! Boy, yeah! Ooh, the best team in the world! And now I've got the chance to do the Real Madrid Cremo. You guys have been asking for it. And, uh, ooh, that intro really killed me, man. My stamina is gone. This first episode will be a slightly short one, I think. I'm just going to show you all the expectations, the players we have, the players I would like to buy. And then I'm going to leave it to you guys to let me know which players I should buy and which players I should get rid of. Okay. Within three seasons, increase the club worth of your club by 10%. Okay. That's quite easy, man. It's Real Madrid. We got big players. We know how to increase the value. And the club worth will grow. And we will succeed in different tournaments, I'm pretty sure of that. And gain 200 mil from uh, share sales, okay. Win Champions League, okay, okay. Youth development is high. Sign two players with potential of 75, or over 75 to your youth squad. Increase the overall stats by at least 10 points. You mad? 10! Man City only had 5, but 10. Oh, that could be a bit struggle, but we would probably manage, I hope so. And sign two youth players to the senior team in the same season that was scouted. Play them in 10 matches as a either as part of starting 11 or coming on as a sub and then long term within two seasons grow three youth academy players by at least 10 overall points maybe 20 matches yeah i can do that ban exposure 200 mil yes win champions league win the la liga win the copa del rey and then financial is low because we got money and within three seasons increase the club worth oh, yeah i already know that told you about that but that's the boys objective for me and uh, yeah here's my team 94 rated ronaldo it's gonna be the star man in our team, that's for sure. And we got Benzema and Bale to complete the BBC tree up front. And then Cam, we have Rodriguez and then Cruz and Modric as holy midfielders. And then Cavafal, Pepe, Ramos and Marcelo and then Navas in goal. So the only position I would uh, most likely to, uh, to uh, make stronger is the right back position and left back. But not to replace Cavafal or Marcelo but to bring on... Uh, good replacements so because Contra I'm not really a big fan of him I might looking to sell him actually and then Daniel not the biggest fan of him either and on the bench we got Murata, Isco, Casemir, Asensio really good player Varane, Danilo and Casilla then Vasquez he should really be on the bench as well I will do that in a second then Contra, Kovacic, Fernandez, Diaz, Odegaard, Mariano, Silva Diaz who scored a goal in the uh, Copa del Rey yesterday and Nacho where is he? Yeah, Nacho, what a goal he scored, a volley. Man, that's a really good goal. And uh, yeah, Febas, Fernandez, Leina, Hakimi, Yanes, Vergos, and Tejero. Tejero, or whatever you want to say. But first of all, I'm going to change this formation to a bit more a narrow 4-3-3. This is the kind of style I do like. So I'm going to show you because some of you maybe would like to know what formation I do choose. And uh, yeah, this is what I do. 4-3-3, more narrow 4-3-3. So Bale and Ronaldo get more involved into the games. I know Pepe is 88 but Varane is a youngster, he will grow Or maybe I should play with Pepe I'll, I'll leave it like this for now But yeah, you let me know if I should start with Pepe or Varane So the only player I put on the transfer list is Pepe is 33 years old And his uh, contract is expiring 12 months So uh, could uh, I could sell him before he has 6 months or less So I don't miss out on any money I could extend his contract but for now I will just put him on transfer and see if he gets sold, but he got really good stats. But Varane is really good at backup if we sell uh, Pepe, so I'm not too bothered about that. I don't really need to buy any more players, but I know that you guys like to bring on new players. So I'm going to let you decide which place I should buy. But one but one position I do think that we could help to improve is the striker position. Uh, we've got 87 Benzema, but if you have any other suggestions, let me know. I don't really want to sell Bale or Ronaldo, I want to keep them. But Benzema, I, yeah, I could uh, replace him. So that's one position you could really help me out to replace with. So let me know any place you know. Now this guy, Jose Gaia, if you watch my Man City career mode, you know that I recently bought him. So I don't really need to scout them because I know almost the price you need. 
need to pay to get him. I bought him for 17 million on Man City career mode. And uh, yeah, he's a really good player, so I'm going to try to buy him. So our budget for Real Madrid is 159 million euros. And the wages, we got 657k in our wages. That could actually get us a really good player. Maybe one or two or three, maybe. I don't know. That all depends on what place you want me to buy. But this is, is I want to keep it more realistic than the Man City career mode. So here are the Champions League groups. I randomized it, so I don't really know what uh, the groups are. But, how, but here in Group A, we have Barcelona, Leverkusen, Barcelona, and Legia, Warsaw, which Real Madrid has in real life. And smashed them 6 1, man. Sick and Group B Leicester City, Sevilla, Leon, Besiktas and Group C Bayern, Atletico Madrid, PSG, Club Bruges. Is that as in real life? I think it is. That's a really intense one. And Group D Juventus, Arsenal, Monaco, Mönchengladbach, and Gladbach. Group E Benfica, Napoli, Spurs, Celtic. Group F Paris, Saint Germain, Porto, Roma, and Salzburg. And Group G Moscow, Dortmund, Sporting, and Ajax. Group H Real Madrid, Manchester City, and I. Kid you not, I did not put my city in the group. He just uh, randomized it, and yeah, I guess it's Faith, one of my teams that I do Kremers on. Hey, it just happened to. And I just realized we have Real Madrid and my city dream to career mode. What the hell? Or maybe everybody, I don't know, what's happening, man? Because we play, we help Real Madrid go through to the knockout stages. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Maybe we'll help Man City go through in this career mode. I don't know. That could be pretty sick. But we had Young Boys and Copenhagen as well. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, surely I have Young Boys and Copenhagen in my Man City Dream Team Champions League group as well. What the hell? I don't know. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's pretty weird if he is that way. That's all the groups. So Valencia accepted because control for Gaia. So uh, Gaia now wants 4 years, 45k in his wages. Let's give him that. Let's give him 40 actually. I think we'll settle for that actually. And it will be... Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, important man. I will play him for like cup matches like Copa del Rey and sim matches in the league instead of Marcelo. So yeah, he will be important. And also an offer from uh, Atletico Madrid on Isco. This is for 42 million pounds, well, euros, and uh, I'm not so sure. We got Quames, we got Asensio and Isco, those three players will fight for their positions. But for now, we're going to uh, sort of store it. I said in the beginning of this episode that this was going to be a short episode, so it's going to be a short one because. I'm going to end it right here and i uh, going to let you guys decide if you want me to sell Isco or uh, should I just reject this offer or bump it up even more and should I sell Juanmus instead? I don't know. Let me know which place I should sign in comments down below and which place I should buy and keep it realistic because I want this career mode to be more realistic than the Man City career mode which is my dream team career mode. Your thoughts about this? Let me know and I will uh, feature you in the next video. So help me out man. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Leave a like if you want to see more subscribe to me and that would be awesome man uh, yeah this is my boy fame to send and until next time thank you come again